Good morning, everyone. My name is Ongfor V, B, metric number BB192111 and 46. And I will start as an introduction for this group assignment. So this topic is about COVID vaccination and also COVID-19 as a whole. So what if the worker refused to take a vaccination and what are the impact and also the effect that could uh, give the consequences towards the company and also country. So let's jump straight to it. So number one is the company that we choose is McDonald's and the country that we choose is United States. So McDonald's has been operating in the United States for a very long time and had over like 38,000 locations in over 100 countries globally. So right now, there's some problem which is the COVID-19 the COVID pandemic has caused a disruption towards the McDonald's franchise all around the world. And for McDonald's to tackle this problem, they have offered several um, solutions, and which is such as mandating corporate worker to get the COVID-19 vaccination, but not the restaurant worker, and there's a difference on that. And there are also few franchises that give $100 bonuses to employees that take the COVID-19 vaccination. Despite all this effort and also strategy came from McDonald's, there are still also worker or employee that hesitate to take the vaccine or refuse to take the vaccine because the vaccine is being produced or also created in such a short time. Now I'm passing it to Liao Ziwei. Hello, my name is Liao Ziwei, number matrix BB191109952. So now I will present for my part, which is cause and effect in context of issues in international business. So the first one is human resource management. During the pandemic, if the company want to get the employee back to the work as usual, vaccine and prevention efforts are in inevitable. According to the report by QSR magazine, McDonald's is making every effort to make all employees vaccinated by 27 September 2021. If McDonald's directly allow the employee back to the work without any vaccine and prevention and control work, the risk for the employee to get infected will be increased. And if one of the employees got infected, other employees that have touched with him or her will also may be infected. So to ensure the safety and health for the employee, McDonald need to complete the vaccination for all employees first. Next is global supply chain management and logistics. The global supply chain has interrupted because of the pandemic. McDonald is one of the supply chain that need to supply to the world. So, McDonald's must make sure all of the employees have vaccinated to ensure the quality of the supply chain. If the McDonald's fails, the quality of the supply chain will get affected and the risk of the spreading epidemic by the supply chain to other countries will also happen. The last one is global production. Not only for the employee in the country, McDonald's should also make sure the employee that at other country also has vaccinated to make sure the production still can process if not, McDonald's production chain will get affected. Action or decision taken by manager. There are three steps that manager can take to encourage the employees for vaccination in workplace. First is create a convenient and cost-free environment because employees rate convenience and cost-free as more important than support for vaccination conventions by the organizations. For example, McDonald's in California put up vaccination booths to better serve the requirement for its employees and the community at large. This is a good example that McDonald's show that can be followed by any fast food restaurants. Next is to implementing a communication plan. Managers can point to employees and share any update about vaccination to the staff through break rooms and posters. For example, McDonald's and the White House have begun a collaboration to promote vaccination information on their McDonald's coffee cups. Third ways is to providing paid time off for immunizations and recovery. Employees like to have a flexible time to take off for vaccines and recovery. McDonald's is the first major fast food operator to provide a vaccination incentive, promised to provide employees with four hours of bonus pay to cover the cost of COVID-19 vaccines. This part is about action or decision taken by government. 
Vaccines are at the heart of the government's response to COVID-19 as they are the best tool to prevent hospitalizations and death. They set up the largest free immunity program in U.S. history, mobilized 20,000 immunity centers, set up dozens of massive state immunity centers capable of providing more than 125,000 injections a day, and more than 9,000 government officials. At that time, the federal authorities have furnished all COVID-19 vaccines and the Coronavirus Assistance Economic Security Act calls for employer-funded medical health insurance to call immunization free from charge. As a result, employer-funded medical health insurance should pay for vaccine administration. The Advisory Committee on Immunization and Implementation recommends that healthcare workers, residents, and nursing home workers get vaccinated first and that the immunization phase begin. SIP can prioritize further groups such as group of the elderly and infirm, frontline workers, and critical infrastructure workers. The federal government distributes vaccine to each state, and each state follows its own distribution guidelines for residents. Some states have already stated that they prioritize different groups such as teachers, in math, and correctional officer. Assalamualaikum and Good evening, my name is Asmira Binti Mustafa, maybe 1911-0604. Today I will present my part which is recommendation. So in recommendation, companies and government can play a big role on this mission to stop the pandemic outbreak chains. Companies should arrange flexibility work schedule. Remote working must be allowed for employee, employees which are not compelled to have been in the workplace. Starting to work from home must be offered to this sort of work. If this is not practiced ever soon, company can recommend dividing teamwork to works on different shifts to prevent potential emergence. This method not only prevents potential on-site employees from communicating among each other, but also helps reduce the difficulties encountered faced by some workers, such as a working parents. Secondly, is companies must also provide essential items to prevent the spread of COVID-19, such as face masks and hand sanitizers at workplace. Based on the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention (CDC), workers with complete vaccinated must still use face masks in indoor areas. So, companies should give free face masks to employees who demand it and ensure spares accessible whenever employees need it. Companies must also provide a sanitary environment, whereas workspace must be disinfected on a constant schedule. In this recommendation, government also play a big role on this mission to stop the pandemic outbreak change. In order to accomplish the missions, the government can set some new procedures during the pandemic era. The Occupational Safety Health and Health Administration, OSHA, has stated the guideline to employers who still need to work in this pandemic era. Based on the guidelines, companies are urged to evaluate the health and safety of workers who still must visibly attend to workplace. Workers may encounter a variety of health concerns depending on the severity of their profession, wherever they operate and their personal health history. For instance, employers can examine workers with symptoms of COVID-19 and do a social distancing at a workplace. That's all from me. Thank you. In conclusion, during the COVID-19 pandemic, U.S. government and McDonald's managers has offered measures to promote international trade in terms of human resource management. McDonald's executives need uh, employees to return to work and use every means to vaccinate uh, employees to ensure to the health and safety of the uh, employees. <coughs> employers uh, safety uh, keeps uh, keeps um, cross border uh, supply chains running, but the global production employers outside the companies should be um, encouraged to get vaccine, uh, vaccinated. Managers use a variety of means to communicate with employers and provide. Mode, uh, free injection point and incentive. The government also gave uh, good policies. Um, finally, it is uh, suggested that the companies redo the interaction uh, between employees and the relevant uh, practice of the companies and provide a system in special uh, inspection and protection measures.